Do 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 do. It's Chemdor. Hello everyone, this is Chemdork, and welcome to another video. We're going to be playing FTL. This is a fun, fun game launched in 2012 for, um, for the PC. It's, uh, it's, uh, available on Steam. It's been there for a while. I've probably seen a bunch of people play it, and, uh, I decided to play it. I've been playing it recently. I think I logged 55 hours of this thus far, but let's, uh, let's go. If you haven't played this before, um, it's a roguelike game, which basically means a lot of random things happen, and you could be totally screwed from the beginning, or you could get really lucky and, you know, have a really easy time of it all. Usually I do not have an easy time of it, but um, you can kind of pause any time, and basically what you have is this sort of top-down view of your ship. You kind of set up and decide what ship you want to use, and um, you try to get to the end. That's kind of it. There is a story behind it, but uh, yeah, you basically try to get to the end. We're actually just going to start with the Kestrel. This is the sort of standard ship. Um, music in this game is pretty cool. We're going to do normal, mo normal mode. I've beaten it on easy a bunch of times, and I actually play a lot in easy. Uh, you get a lot more scrap and a lot more resources that way, but uh, uh, normal is what we're going to try. So I'm going to See if I can finally try to beat it on normal. Um, I'm going to start with the Kestrel, and I don't know if I'm going to do a bunch of these videos, but, uh, you know, you might. You never know. Um, Alright, so the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. This is kind of based on the story. Uh, you'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. There's a tip. Breaches. If a room with a uh, breach has no oxygen, try opening all the doors surrounding it to make it less hazardous. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, that's a good tip. I kind of didn't know that. Anyway. Um, Alright, so here's the ship. We're in... Um, if you click this jump button, you can jump to various sectors or locations within a sector. There are eight sectors, and basically your idea is you want to explore as much as you can in one sector before moving on to the next, because each place you visit gets you potentially more scrap. That's kind of the idea. Um, so I like to put, obviously, one guy in pilot. Um, one guy is going to be Aki. I guess he'll be, uh, he'll be some weapons. And I like to put a guy in... I kind of alternate between wanting to do it in engine and the shields. I find that when they're in an engine, uh, when they're running the engines, they um, their experience for running an engine, which is basically these, their abilities, uh, actually go up pretty quick. But shields go up kind of slow, so that's why I like to do shields weapon. But all right, so we're gonna just gonna. This is what we do. I actually uh, reduce some out of the med bay and put it in the engine just because I know that that's uh, easy. So let's see, um, nebulas I don't really want to go into too much. It looks like I can go around there. I might be able to connect here, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go down here. All right, so let's see. Spacebar pauses. Uh, I, I pause very uh, religiously. Okay, so we have a first ship. We can attempt to download the ship's data stores or don't risk it. Um, you know what? We're going to attempt. Oh, good. Okay, good. Yay, we got scrap and some information we got from the sector. Oh, cool. Okay, so we know where the stores are. Which is actually only one store. Oh, that kind of is crummy. And this is close to a nearby sun. Oh, that's going to be fun. You know what? This doesn't show anything in the nebula, and the nebula slows down things. So let's go here. Yeah, basically you have uh, the rebel fleet is out to get you. All right, it's nothing happening here. Uh, the rebel fleet is out to get you, and you'll see them start to come in through here. And you have to basically—you don't want to get stuck in the rebel fleet. Uh, the ship cannot really withhold and withstand that. Uh, I don't want to go to the store. I don't have any scrap, so there's no reason for me to do that. I'm actually—you know what? Let's go on the asteroid field and fight a ship. You almost always fight a ship in an asteroid field. Okay, a mantis scout. So let's do it. Let's fight. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here. Uh, I like to use the auto fire mode, which basically allows you to not have to select each weapon and fire, because normally you have to select it and place where to fire. So you kind of decide where on the enemy ship to fire. Uh, these icons represent your subsystems, and similarly, you can see the subsystems of the enemy craft. You can see he has a shield. That's this one blue thing. So he has a single shield. Um, we can target his shields or his weapons, perhaps. 
Uh, what I like to do, actually, um, I kind of alternate between wanting to target shields and weapons, but basically what I do is I'm going to use an Artemis to take down his shields, and once they're down, we're going to hit him with a burst laser. So I'm going to actually wait. Oh, why is his shields down? Oh, uh, his shields are down because the asteroids keep hitting, so mine go down when an asteroid hits it, too. Uh, oh, we have an intruder, because um, this is a Mantis cruiser. They love to have intruders. You know, I'm going to let him fight it out. They're both humans. They should be all right. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll I'll do a two for one here. All right, there you go. Okay, we got some damage on our subsystem, but I damage his subsystem system with my with my missile. And now the burst laser is ready. So let's I can click there and start to target his weapon so he can't hit me, which is what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay, he's powering up his FTL. Uh, they're offering. No, we're not gonna accept the surrender. Uh, I don't want to waste missiles, so I'm going to next time hit his engines. Okay, so one of his guys dies. That's cool. Alright, I think Mort was with the shield, so Mort goes back here. Alright, come on, let's hit his engines. Awesome! Okay, we got him. Got him! Uh, good, we got more scrap and some drone parts and fuel. Alright, that's cool. Uh, we have no shields, and that's kind of a problem. I don't want asteroids to hit me, but there we go. Okay, now we can jump. Uh, let's just get out of here before we do any bad things. Um, we're gonna go to the distress beacon. So we're gonna go up to here. I might stop by the store so I can get, uh, oh, okay. Hello, travelers, your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Uh, sure, why not? You know what, let's rescue the store. Yeah, why not? Added a quest marker over here. Great, great. Uh, yeah, you see, this is the Rebel Fleet. You don't want to get anywhere near here. If you get within this area, uh, it's very dangerous, and here is, like, extremely dangerous. So, I'm gonna go to the Stress Beacon. We're gonna ignore the, sto the store because the Rebel Fleet is pretty close. Uh, I can't really afford the fuel. Uh, I'm sorry. And crap. <laughs> We have to revisit locations. This is actually a really bad starting uh, sector. Whew. This isn't really going too well. Alright, so we've been here before. Let's go here. Wasted a bunch of fuel and waste a bunch of time. This is a really bad start. Well, that's okay. We're going to get the quest. And I guess we'll just be heading on to sector 2 pretty quick. Okay. Uh, automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. You know what? Let's defend the outpost. Let's get into some scraps. Okay, this guy has no shields, so that's kind of nice. I'm just going to hit him with a burst laser and his weapons. And hopefully uh, my shields will take the brunt of this, although he has a missile, as I see, and that goes right through shields. So we're probably going to get some damage here by this missile, unless we avoid it. No, we didn't. All right, but we got that, that burst uh, got rid of his, um, his, his weapons. Um, as you see, this guy is getting... Oh, he actually needs to be healed. Hmm. We'll have to do that at the end. So, I got him pretty much pinned down. There's no way I'm going to lose. At this point in time, I'm just going to have everybody go here and start healing. I need to supply power to my med bay, though. Alright, so I get some stuff. Uh, the outpost hails me and thanks me and gives me some stuff. Cool. Alright, so these guys are going to be healed. Aki is the weapons guy, I think, right? Okay. Yeah. And Mort is my shield guy. Okay, get rid of the med bay power, add it to engines. There we go. Uh, I guess we're going to go to the quest area. Mm, what's this? A asteroid field. Alright, yeah, I guess we're not going to do too much in this sector. Damn. Eh, that's not really a great start. That's okay. Engage the rebel and rescue the space dock. Yeah, we're gonna rescue. Okay, this guy has drones. That's this little subsystem. It's actually a drone unit, and this is a drone. Drones can either attack you, uh, or they can defend a ship, or boarding. There's boarding drones, which board your ship, and then there's system repair drones, which can repair systems. So there's a bunch of cool drones. Uh, this is a beam drone, I think. Yeah, so beam weapons really can't get through shields, or at least not very easily. Uh, I'm going to hit him in the shields and then do the um, the weapon hit with the burst laser. Now again, I'm going to wait for the shields to go down before I actually fire the laser, otherwise... Uh, what's... Oh, okay, there we go. Shields down, I hit him in the, hit him in the burst laser. 
Okay, now his weapons are down, so I actually am going to hit his shields because they're not all the way down. See how they're orange? I want them to be red. There we go. Red means they're totally done. Um, Alright, so this is my hull damage. I, or my hull integrity. Not, not too bad. Alright, cool. Okay, and if we want to and we're in trouble, we can always jump out. Uh, this, the rebel, the outpost thanks me and gives me a little bit of scrap. Oh, oh, and I can buy some stuff. Cool, so we have 78. We can buy something. Um, we're okay on fuel. That's this. Um, hmm. We have nothing really good to sell. I could buy really awesome missiles. Um, the ion bomb is actually really, really useful. And it's very cheap to use. You know what? Even though I don't have a need for it right now, I actually want to buy it. Okay. That's cool. Uh, nah, I'm not going to fix anything. These are actually pretty nice augmentations, but we're not going to get them. Okay. Uh, now, you can also go into your ship menu and upgrade any of these subsystems. Again, here are shields, engines, which can avoid some things. They can also charge up your FTL drive a little quicker. Oxygen, I never upgrade that. Weapons, of course, to upgrade that, you can use more weapons. Uh, Medbay, I have occasionally upgraded that. That basically allows crew members to heal faster. Piloting, I don't usually upgrade this. This allows you to um, essentially have an autopilot. But that's no big deal. Uh, sensors, I, a lot of times I'll upgrade if I am doing a lot of boarding of an enemy ship. And doors, eventually we're going to be upgrading those probably. Alright, so let's jump out of here. Let's go to this asteroid field. Okay, so um, it's a it's an automated drone robot. So it means there's no crew on board. And um, yeah, this time he has a shield, so I'm going to hit him in the shield with that and burst laser his weapons, just like before. Okay, so Artemis the shield. And uh, actually, I could ion bomb the shield, but either way. Okay, hit it. Oh, oh darn. Okay. Um, my weapons went down, so I have to repair it before I can get anything going. I actually want my weapons back really bad. Uh, I'm going to hit him in the weapons with an Artemis, actually. Oh, we have a fire. Um, in order to get rid of a fire, we can open up. Okay, we can open doors, but we don't have door control. That's really bad. Okay, I'm going to take both of these guys and bring them in here to repair the doors really quickly so we can actually open doors because you basically you starve the fire of oxygen. And uh, okay, now we have doors back. Open these doors. And now we should be able to be all right. See, so, Aki, get back in weapons. You guys get back in shields. Uh, okay, give me back my burst laser. I am not going to fire any more missiles because we only have nine left. All right, stop it. I don't care. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. All right, uh, we have one shield. We're just gonna op we're gonna let this fire go out first. <laughs> Come on. Come on, fire. All right, now we're gonna close all the doors and get out of here. Um, yeah, we can't go anywhere else, really, so let's just go to the exit. Hmm, you've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. So, oh, oh okay, cool. So you just kind of find things randomly. This is this is the roguelike quality, right? When you ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives you the schematics for a drone. Hooray, we don't have any drone system. You can go and ship and see uh, in our equipment, there's the system repair drone, but we don't have a drone system. See, system not installed. Uh, you can buy them at a store. Uh, system repair drone is fine. I don't usually use drones. It depends on the ship, though. Um, and it depends on the circumstance. This is actually a game of opportunity, so when opportunity presents itself, it makes sense. Uh, yeah, see, we can't go anywhere. This is where the F Rebel fleet is. So we're going to go to the next sector, and as you see, it's kind of a tree. You can go anywhere. We are here. We can either go to the pirate-controlled sector or an uncharted nebula. Hmm. Now, this is hostile. This is a non-hostile, but it's a nebula. You see how it's nebula? I like to go to the hostile here because we have greater potential for safe places afterwards. And there's going to be eight jumps. So we're going to go to the pirate-controlled hostile place first. Yeah. 
All right, few Federation friendly a few Federation friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate rage. This is a dangerous sector, so be careful. Kind of means we're going to be hitting probably a lot of enemy ships. Uh, okay, I guess we have to jump here. So if you kind of got the idea of this game, uh, yeah. All right, so a slaver ship. Oh, cool. Uh, if you start to beat this guy, he will most likely um, offer up a slave. So we will never surrender one of our crew to the slavers. That would just be silly. All right, so now we're going to attack him. He still has only one shield. He has some lasers. We're going to hit him with a Artemis and then burst laser like before. So here we go. Uh, as you see, these these are rooms that are still a little low in oxygen. So, oop. Okay. Um, okay, our, sh our uh, missile hit. I paused the game just then. We're going to go burst laser right in his weapons. Okay, just hit him once. That was really awful. Uh, but I am going to hit him again with just the burst laser. So I'm not going to hit him with Artemis anymore. And this is why I use the auto fire. I don't have to do anything now. It just automatically will fire. Ah, cool. Okay. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. Of course. All right, we get a rock man. A rock Rock guy? What, what, do you, what do you call him? Rock man, yeah. So you see, um, they're rarely seen and known for their fortitude. They're immune to fire, which is kind of nice. Movement speed is halved, which is not nice. But they have a lot of health, which is cool too. So he's going to go in, uh, in the engine room. What he'll do is he'll give me a little higher evade chance. And as he gets better at engines, he will give me even higher. So this guy, he's Aki. See how he has a starting to develop a little skill in weapons. Um, Mort is developing a skill in shields. He's also developing a skill with fighting and repairing things. Cool. All right, so let's get to the next sector. Um, I'm going to stay away from nebulas for now. Uh, so we're going to go here, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, pirates in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. Um, stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. So if we accept their bribe, we get a fuel, drone parts, and scrap. Nah, we're gonna attack the pirate and be a hero. All right, I almost never not do that. Okay, this is a Mantis ship, but he doesn't have a teleporter. He has a med bay, weapons, and yeah, the standard stuff. Okay, so Artemis. Oh, I just actually hit him with a burst laser. That's okay. Uh, you know what? We're going to shoot and smack his weapons. Okay. More generous bribe. Oh, fuel four, missiles four, and scrap 11. You know, I'm going to take this because I actually need the missiles and fuel. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to try to go, like, maybe here? Something like that. In fact, maybe I'll go, or like, yeah, maybe I'll go there. Uh, no way! We're gonna get another crew member. This is another slaver ship. Okay, we will never surrender. Alright, smack him this time with an Artemis and the shield, just like before. Uh, they're pretty simple to beat these, these guys initially, and then once they get more shields, it becomes a lot more difficult. The Artemis is only so good. Uh, Alright, so now we're gonna hit his weapons. Okay, up, up, up. Okay, we have a fire. So uh, we're gonna open up... Oh, wait, we have a fire and... Oh, crap. Uh, our Rockman would be a great one to get send there, but he's sort of... He's gonna take forever. Uh, we're gonna try to have this guy put out the fire. Uh, yes, give me your slave. Cool, it's a human. I guess that's good. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy out of here and actually put the med bay up. Oh, okay. Alright, so these guys are gonna fix the doors. Come on, fix the doors. Okay, you Rockman, go back to your, your place. Uh, this guy got hit too, so we want to heal him up. Make sure everybody's up to good health. It's actually, I wish we didn't have so many humans. Hmm. Um, yeah, so Mort is our shield guy, so let's put him back in shields. No, come on. And Jill is going to just roam the ship and look for subsystems to fix and everything. I guess that's... What what, that's what our job's gonna be. Maybe we'll get a transporter or something. Maybe. Uh, store or distress beacon? I kind of want more scrap before I go to the store. I'm gonna actually go over here and then maybe go to the store and then maybe distress. So again, you kind of want to go to as many locations as you can within a sector. Oh, cool. Okay, another uh, drone uh, system repair drone. Cool. Awesome. 
Uh, so let's go to the store now. Because if we go to the stress beacon there, then we're going to have to do backtracking, and I hate doing backtracking. So we're going to go to the store. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to buy some stuff. First, we're going to sell these system repair drones because I don't need them. Okay. Uh, we can buy more drones, but we don't need that. So actually, and we don't really have enough for this, plus I want to upgrade some systems first. So we're actually just going to fix my ship. Uh, I have enough missiles. Maybe I'll buy a missile and get to get some fuel. I like to have a decent amount. And that's it. And then in terms of my ship, I'm going to upgrade to get one more power bar. Oh, we don't need it, absolutely, but it's kind of in anticipation of getting other things. Uh, now we're just going to jump out of here. We're doing all right. Uh, we're going to go to this distress beacon first. Distress beacons usually give you something. Oh, cool. Okay, anytime you get a blue uh, choice, it's it's always a good idea to do it. So you locate a source of the distress call in nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread uh, virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of disease, but lack of any enforcement. Uh, lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. Okay, so if you do this, sometimes you lose a crew member. This is always safe. This is always good. So we're going to choose it. We get some stuff. The Rockman... You know, has an impressive immune system, so he can't, uh, he's not susceptible to the disease, and, you know, he's he's a big stone. So, <laughs> literally, he's a rock man. All right, so cool, we get some stuff. Great. Uh, another distress beacon, and uh, your ability to get those blue choices. Oh, cool, again, another distress call. Um, this time it's fire. Your ability to get this blue choice uh, is shown by, see how it says rock crew? It means you have a rock man in your crew, so you can do this. All right, again, this is always going to be a good idea. Uh, da, 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 okay, contact the survivor. Oh, cool! Okay, we get an augment. We get scrap and an augment. Augments are, if you look in this equipment, here. So, FTL jammer. What does it do? Scramble enemy ships FTL computers, doubling the time it takes for them to jump. Eh, it's okay. It's it's probably going to be sold pretty soon. It's just It's just scrap, if anything. All right, I'm probably going to go one, two, three, four. I think one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be kind of close, but we'll kind of gauge it. All right, okay, we're going to hit this drone. Uh, I'm just going to use lasers on him. I'm not going to waste a, a missile because we don't need to take down his shields. Okay, and we got Jill roaming the ship to fix anything. Uh, okay, that's it. We pretty much got him. So he did one point of damage with his beam weapon, but um, before I could get my shields back up. But yeah, we're, we're killing him. We're going to kill him in the next volley. Um, it would be nice if... Well... Eh, whatever. Come on. There we go. Alright, okay, cool. Excellent, excellent. Uh, drone parts scrap. Hooray, hooray. Let's see, what do we want to upgrade? I think we want to upgrade weapons so we can get this ion bomb going on. And I'm going to upgrade my doors. They come in handy in case you get boarded. Uh, as before, we're going to put one more in there. And I'm actually going to set up... Ion bomb is the first. Bombs actually kind of just go right on the ship. They don't actually have to go through any shields. They kind of always go through shields. This ion bomb is so useful because it does actually four units of ion damage, which is pretty good. Uh, that can take down two levels of shields. As you see, one shield is actually two units. So that can take down two levels of shields. Uh, do we have anything we want to... We kind of want to sell this FTL jammer because I don't need it at all. I think I got enough time to do this. Okay, let's... Oh, Firebeam is so fun to play with. Uh, we can kind of go on Ion strategy. We'll see. Eh, it's only 15. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, ion Blast, it's um, really cheap. It does one unit of Ion damage. Eh, not much. Hmm, we can afford it though. You know, for now, let's not do that. Let's not do that yet. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not really worth it. Maybe if it was the Ion 2. Uh, okay, pirate ship. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Okay, pretty much nothing. <laughs> Didn't really do anything there. A lot of these sectors you get kind of get nothing. Oh, cool, we just get a weapon. Healing Burst. Uh, very useful if you're going to do a teleport strategy where you teleport over, because then you can heal your crew when it's over there, basically. I'll, sh I'll show you what it does. Uh, Self-teleporting healing unit. It's basically a bomb <laughs> that heals all friendly crew in the room. So, and you can target your own ship. Useless, unless you're doing teleporting. Uh, well, relatively useless, I should say. Okay, we can't we can't jump anywhere else, so we have to go to the exit. What are we gonna find? Nothing. Yeah, you know what? Laser blast. You know we're gonna aid the civilian ship. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. Uh, let's hit him with an ion bomb. All right, I'll show you what it looks like. It just kind of teleports into that room. Okay, we got a. See how they have a teleporter. We got some uh, some crew here. What I'm gonna do is put this guy in the shield into the med bay, and we're gonna actually suffocate these guys. Okay, if I open up all these doors, they're gonna start to fight this, but once once they start running out of air, they're gonna try to make their way into the med bay. This is why I upgraded my oh crap, my doors. I was gonna say, but they actually already almost destroyed my doors. All right, I'm gonna close the doors now so I don't suffocate. Uh, that noise you might have heard is the bomb, and boom, it went out. And as you see, the shields are down, but they're only down temporarily. So I'm gonna actually knock them with the burst. Oh, they have a bomb too. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hit their weapons. Yeah, and I'm just gonna do burst lasers from now on. Uh, oh, let's make sure the med bay is actually working, <laughs> and these guys will take care of them. There's intruders. It shouldn't be a problem. If you have them fight in your med bay, it's almost always a good idea. Um, Mort is going to go back to shields, and Jill is going to fix the doors first. All right, I'm going to hit the uh, the weapons again, because they're getting their laser and bombs back. But uh, yeah, there we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, got him. These guys are pretty easy. All right, uh, we got some things from that ship, and then... Oh, cool. Burst laser mark one. Cool. We get some weapon and scrap. We get a weapon and some scrap. Uh, that is great. Okay, two units of power. That's great. I'm actually going to use it instead of the Artemis. Uh, we're going to use ion bomb and nah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it does essentially. Yeah, it's it's better. So we're going to use a burst laser and burst laser two. And I think let's see one, two, three, four, five. I actually need another unit of weapon. So we're going to do that, buy that, and there we go. Now we can use all three. That's great. Oh, take it out of med bay and put it back in the engine. Everybody's at full health. We're good to go. Next sector. All right, civilian sector. Both of them are nice and friendly. So we'll go here just so we have some options later on. Okay, guys, well, that will about do it for part one of the FTL playthrough. Stay tuned for part two, where we will be entering into sector three. I recorded this playthrough without realizing that I'd need to cut it, and yeah, so this is why you're hearing this. Okay, guys, see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.